What's up, folks? Permanent page right here. I'm over here on uh, allnewspipeline.com. Came across this story for all you Dave Hodges fans. And there's a whole bunch of stories that I'm not even going to touch with a 10-foot pole. This is one of them. Uh, Gary, some guys from Two on the Front Line, you guys can take this. Or, uh, or master of many things, maybe even you, since this touches on Oregon so much and ties in with another story. So, basically saying that uh, Steve Quayle, or uh, Dave Hodges, is a puppet for Steve Quayle. Or vice versa. And so one of the headlines read, Please check legitimacy of stories you send me. And here's the whole thing. Please check legitimacy of stories you send me. In the last two days, fake ABC and CNN news sites and stories have been satirized and sent to me by some people who missed the satire. And then it says... It says, Hodges recently failed to convince his listeners that Nathan Leo was off base when he questioned Ted Brower's interpretation of the gospel. And blah, 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 fueling the fire. Um, if you read the above Q alert, which had been issued February 3rd, 2016, you'll notice that Steve Quayle, by setting forth his complaint against mainstream news, has yet created another awkward affair. By employing a double standard, which the average person hates, He's, in fact, condemning his own alternative media agents. Now, this is what I don't like. And I think I should just... I should just stop right here. I, would, I should just stop right there, and let me say that... The people in radio that are selling products... Alex Jones... I like, uh, people love giving that one. Oh, Alex Jones is just here to sell products. Well, Alex Jones didn't start selling products till just a few years ago. What the fuck did he do the other 15 years? Number two, he slash they puts 90% of the money that comes into InfoWars back into the fucking broadband and all of that shit that has to do for the studio and the radio and television broadcast. And he's shown everybody the papers. He shows everybody the papers every fucking year. The dude makes like half a million dollars a year. But he brings home like 90 grand. He's not making shit. The same thing with the other news people. Now they're saying that Quayle's trying to push gold in Hodges. It could be because... Uh, well, if you know when the big one's going to hit, that kind of helps. But shit, any of us truthers should be doing that then, right? All I know is there's a great deception going on, and I sense it right here because the, the, the it's just too fucking easy. Folks, tell me it's not, all you truthers out there. This is just way too easy to figure out, isn't it? The Pope and Obama, Antichrist and false prophet. Now I know for sure that the Pope, for damn sure, is either the Antichrist or the false prophet. Maybe Barack Obama's not the Antichrist. It's a possibility. Then again, I never saw flies come out of somebody's mouth before. But there's something way, way bigger here. I can, I mean, I can feel it like you wouldn't believe. Like, like incredible feeling, like something's just not fucking right. You want some more incredible news stories? Allnewspipeline.com. There's all the headlines. And a few of the headlines I've been through, it looks like uh, there's going to be a few more people ending up on the Clinton body count. So, there's some more shit going on up in Oregon. Hillary, oh jeez. Fucking hate when they use names like that. 
So rapist and cover up team par excellence. And goes on to talk about the story. Blah blah blah. However, let's see, look at all these people over here. Down here. Yeah, they're all in they're all in danger now. So watch these people. Watch all of these people. See who comes up dead. Even fucking Bill. Shit. Hillary might want to shut his fucking mouth too. And this one I didn't really understand. Because it says, Clive and Bundy serves notice upon Barack Obama. Should LaVoy Finnegan be added to the Clinton body count? Like, what the fuck does the two have to do with each other? Well, some some morons would argue democracy, democratic. Okay. Well, like I said, uh, uh, Kevin, <laughs> you want to take that, buddy? Uh, yeah, don't know, don't care. But uh, I mean, folks, I'm I'm really on. I'm on. I'm out there. <laughs> I'm I'm out there somewhere. I still got this freaking thing with my hand. I don't know what the fuck it is, man. My hand has been ice cold for like the past month now. Uh, I'm hoping it's not like some shit that I like when I used to work with the chemtrails and shit, the canisters and everything. I'm hoping it ain't like something like that, something chemical. Anyways, zombie ships, another sign of dark and dangerous days. So you folk, I'm sure you folks heard of like ghost ships and stuff like that. And uh, there's been an awful lot of them just like popping up out of nowhere. And uh, that's one of the things, one of the mysteries that always boggled my mind was ghost ships. People would just, there'd be like a thousand people on the fucking ship. Everything was left there on the ship, but the passengers are gone. <laughs> no sign of the struggle, nothing. Very weird. Um, folks, if there's anybody, and I mean anybody, that, that can be trusted, I mean, from my years of experience, and I have looked into people probably more than anybody, where they work, who they work for, what they do, what did they do, where they went to school, and why they went to school. I'm, I've fucking done it all. Because I, I did it for future reference, so I wouldn't have to do shit like this. And I come across this fucking Steve Quayle story. Steve Quayle, Alex Jones, Matt Drudge. Uh, I, I want to say Tyler Durden, but I mean, that's, yeah, that's a, put an asterisk next to zero hedge. <laughs> um, the, hey, those sites I know for sure, for sure, for sure, you get the truth there. You get the absolute truth there. You can follow every single one of those stories bit by bit. And in Telehub, very nice, very nice. Uh, I mean, all of those are, those are all very good news sites. Trends Journal, yes, Gerald Salante is on that list. Um, very, very reputable. The problem is, the deception seems too easy. I'm thinking that maybe... Maybe Steve Quayle and all them guys, you know, Tom Horn, George Norrie, the whole fucking crew. We all know the crew. The truthers. What if they're the fucking deception? <laughs> I mean, that would be a hell of a one. Who's to say they're not? Folks, 
when did you think about it? When did you first hear about these people? When did you first hear about Steve Quayle or Tom Horn? And then when they did come out, you're like, who the fuck are these guys? And then you're like, what the hell do these guys do? I mean, Steve Quayle is an author, but if you talk to the guy, he sounds like a fucking cosmic top secret agent. And I know for damn sure, George Nori is fucking COINTELPRO. And I'm finding this kind of hard to grasp because Linda Malton Howe is also on there. And a couple other people. Uh, I'm talking about the Coast to Coast AM family. And I believe Linda Malton Howe, heart and soul. I looked into her plenty of times. I don't see anything that says uh, anything about her other than she's a fucking investigative journalist. Um, George Norrie, no doubt. Uh, and I think that's the real reason John B. Wells was fired. I mean, seriously, folks, you think you think someone like John B. Wells would get fired? From coast to coast AM for over such stupid bullshit. Come on. I always smelled something there, man. And then ever since he started his, uh, ever since John started his own show, I, j I just can't get into it. And he's just been a complete fucking dick to everybody. Treats everybody like shit. He's an asshole. So I don't listen to him. Uh, oh yeah, and he copyrighted me too. Like, uh, when the, when the show first started, mm -hmm. oh, don't give me no warning or nothing, John. <laughs> Fucking schmuck. Hey, buddy, you want to take that down? We're getting into some crazy shit tonight, folks, again. Steve Quayle, Genesis 6. Genesis 6, Genesis 6 Giants.com. And, uh, I'm gonna be checking out some shit over here. Lots of cool stuff. And lots of proof, too. Um, tell me, I'm not the only one that is thinking this is much, much bigger. The deception is too easy. I mean, we all know the Illuminati. We all know the New World Order, the globalist elite, corrupt bankers, corrupt politicians. We know every single one of them. So why is there still something wrong here? And how come, how come not one person is standing up to say anything? Not one person, I mean, to say anything, good or bad, in our favor. Nobody's talking about anything. What the fuck is going on here? NibiroSunset.com WordPress.com Gonna go through some um, Project Bluebeam shit. Holograms. And trust me, you want to see it. Heart in action. Illuminati UFO agenda. Hollywood. Folks, you see, you see the fucking the stars. You know, all the fucking stars in their damn albums having one eye covered. Somehow, is not a fucking coincidence. And now I'm starting to see these little fucking ads and commercials for for the iris shit. And I'm going to be talking about that too. So stay tuned, folks. Some goodness. I'll leave the articles below. God bless and carry on.